Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading and today we have another awesome reading and I hope you guys are well. And this is being done on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, yes. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, in this reading we have the Magician's Sword. This is confidence in your magic. This is somebody who has courage uh, and somebody who feels like they can manifest whatever it is they they want with their confidence yeah it's also a completion uh the number 10 and the animals card is here somebody might have lost an animal or they are losing you or your person Sagittarius remember the readings can be switched or they are using their furry friends right their animal uh, she's here with her uh, wolf-like dog yes I guess it's one of those um beautiful I forget huskies or whatever but uh, the point about it is that somebody might be using their owl to really, their, not their owl, their animal, right? Their dog or whatever animal to keep them company. Yeah. And we see the owl here, which is interesting. Uh, and here's the black cat. So this is, could be to assist in intuition. This can be, uh, you could be using your intuition, right? Definitely with the owl wisdom and the black cat, but also maybe just have, uh, Maybe somebody is just, you know, really kind of hanging out with their animal to get them through something. There might be a completion here. We have freedom. Somebody is, is gaining their freedom here, I'm pretty sure, because this is the gilded cage, and uh, it's being lifted, Sagittarius, basically. Uh, there's a, well, there's a ribbon here, and here is the, some type of bird. I think it's a dove, right, because it's kind of, wings are really wide open there. Uh, and you know, and so maybe it's a stork, but it, this is freedom. And so definitely, and she's looking outside the cage, this, this beautiful woman, the dragonflies there, and there's a key there. So somebody's letting themselves out of captivity. Yeah. Or freeing themselves from something in order to manifest a new beginning, the magician's sword. Here's the intention as well to manifest their intention, right? We know intention is always something you're intending to get or that you really want for yourself. And so it's a number four. The owl is here with his little pen or quill. I can't tell what he has. Oh, you know, he has a dandelion. I beg your pardon. And so this is a wish. And here are all the dandelions here behind him. He's standing on the egg to hatch it for a new beginning. And we start Sagittarius with the feast of plenty, choices and their consequences. So there is a choice here. And this kind of magic crystal ball uh, has both, has two swords. So those are the two choices. It's the number two and right. It confirming that. And over here we have the crystal, uh, by this one sword. And then we have a B here that will, you know, so, you know, in itself, there's two choices here and they're far different. And this B is like going to sting you. I don't think it's bringing you any honey. Uh, I don't feel like it is. Uh, in fact, it looks like a wasp that doesn't even look like a honey bee. Yeah. And so skinnier and yeah, less furry and all that. Right. <laughs> and so we have feast of plenty. Somebody made a choice here and there's a consequence. Yeah, they did. And you or your person, the lost compass this is getting back to integrity. This is an eight. So somebody steps into their power, uh, getting back to something, uh, you know, standing in their power some way, Mm -hmm. or moving into their power. It does look like that for sure. So let's see what we have today. And if you'd like your own psychic reading, Sagittarius, you may always get one. I'm a silver grad. They're accurate. Yes, they are. And uh, yeah, if you don't know somebody, you don't trust them. You haven't seen them in a long time. Really good. Or your own perspective. I'm very good at that. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. and we do a tarot spread at the end. We do. And the tarot spread uh, is part of it. And you get two different unique insights divination. And then we also have, uh, I have tarot readings for you. If you'd like to order one of those and everything's on my calendar below, right? If you want a free five minute psychic reading with mystic sense, click on that. And if you want a natal chart interpreted, which is really the best, the balmy and the best, right? Cause this is about your personal life map and how to make the best, how to really reach your true potential, uh, with the wisdom from your chart. Uh, send me an email, please. So let's see what we have, you guys. And we have the Eight of Pentacles, Sagittarius. So we have completions. We have two tens here, and that's what the Magician Sword is a ten. That's a completion. Magic, confidence in your action, in your magic, but something ends, right? Yeah, completion is always an ending of sorts, uh, but it always means a new beginning, right? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have. Knight of Pentacles, the World card, the Hierophant, and the King of Swords, and the Magician, and the Moon. This is a big reading. And, mm -hmm. and we have, in the heart of the matter, the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So this is uh, definitely about a completion and you or your person, I'm going to read it like it's them. They, they, they have gotten their freedom from something. And this person is getting back to kind of their, their, when we say integrity, integrity is really about, uh, you know, several kind of, it's about your character, but it's about integrating and, you know, having everything you need basically, uh, for your character right? Courage, uh, faith, um, what is it? Fidelity, right? Yeah. Taking action, emotionally intelligent. That's what the lost compass is getting back to integrity. Somebody's done that and a choice has been made here. And so that's why we have the eight of pentacles, the 10 of swords, a choice has been made to let something complete itself or, you know, and eight of pentacles is with it. So this is, uh, I want to do a really good job or whoever is your person, your person here, uh, who is standing in their power with the magician's sword. They have confidence here. They, this person's most likely in love with you or devoted, or they want to come and really do their, do the, maybe you haven't known them to be that way, but they want to do their best here with you. Eight of pentacles. And we have with it the strength card. So the strength card is really about your integrity. It's really about self mastery, right? It is. That's what it is. And, uh, yeah, she, cause she's not going to go fight a war with anybody. No, she's not. And this is a number eight. It's about standing in your power from self mastery. She's hugging the lion. Yeah. Could be a Leo here for sure. Uh, and what's helping you here is the King of wands and the 10 of cups. Look at that. And so, you know, Sagittarius, that's most likely you. And in this particular reading, we could have Aries, Leo or Sag. We could have Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, uh, Scorpio showing up here, Cancer, Taurus, and uh, yeah, I mentioned Aries. So there's already a lot of people showing up, and Capricorn could be here with Virgo with the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like everybody's here, the fire, the earth, and uh, I don't see the Queen of Cups here, but we, we have water energy. We have the moon, and that's Cancer, and we have the world card, and that is Scorpio. It can be seen as Capricorn sometimes. And let's see what's helping you, Sagittarius, is that somebody feels you're there happily ever after. Yeah, or you bring them joy. Uh, Knight of Cups. Wow, see, somebody's in love with you here. This is helping you. I have a feeling that somebody's been, like, staying behind. Like, like they've been coming kind of slowly or afraid. They could have had a way, like, afraid in a way. They could have had to get their freedom first or wrap something else up. Possibly this 10 of swords is probably, re excuse me, related to that. The two of pentacles and the two of cups here. So this is coming into play. This is coming into play here. And this person's focusing on this. This is going back and forth about my couple, right? I've heard people say that it's, it's poor English, but it gets right down to it. Right. Uh, like, you know, how to realize your dreams and love, right? I just heard that song in Spanish last night. This is Tito Nieves, right? The singer. <laughs> but here, such a beautiful song. This is how to realize uh, my dreams and love, right? With my, like my true partner, something like that. So here we have this right here. And that's what this is. Twos are about cho uh, choices. We have the two here. We have the two here. And the Feast of Plenty, choices and their consequences. And so in the past is the moon. There was confusion in the past. There was doubts and fears, maybe. There was fear, like I said, doubts and fears. Uh, there was emotional upset or emotional ups and downs. This can talk about the past. It sits in the past. Uh, sometimes the moon is about pub the public. It can be. Uh, it's about your feelings, right? It can be also secrets. You're carrying, right? Anything related to your feelings can, you know, can sometimes imply secrets, but this can be about things that are kept in the dark. Definitely can. And now we have the nine of swords. So when we see the moon, which is emotional upset here, uh, it is with the nine of swords, she's crying in bed. Somebody was, your person was worried here about whether or not this is going to work out because they're going to approach you two of 
Pentacles, Two of Cups. This person's thinking right here. I wonder if Sagittarius, if I can, if I can do this, if Sagittarius will have me. There's some type of request in this reading, like humility. Like I hope that, you know, Sagittarius will want me. There's definitely not any arrogance in this reading. Good God, no. I mean, I'm not saying. The only reason I'm saying that is because it looks like there's so much integrity here and we have it. Getting back to integrity. This is about humility. That is part of integrity. Sure it is. And the Queen of Cups reversed. And I said that's the only, the last uh, court card we need here. And, you know, this is, uh, this is part of, this is either now or in the near future. We might have two people here, an earth sign, a water sign in the reverse. Uh, yeah, let's see what else. We have the chariot card. So somebody here is upset because of movement. This I don't know if this is a queen of cups or, you know, just somebody in love uh, who is upset here about movement because we see the eight of pentacles and the ten of swords. This is movement in this reading, eight of pentacles moving forward. The ten of swords is some type of a, a completion or something that ends. And the world card can talk about more cycles ending for more cycles beginning. It's really what it is. It's the end of one world and the beginning of another. Mm-hmm. That's why she's kind of up there in the sky naked, right? And we have the three of pentacles reversed. Yeah, this is uh, a brand new cycle. This is getting your wish, the world card. Maybe you're going to travel, Sagittarius. Sometimes the world card is travel. Uh, but, you know, somebody has traveled here kind of uh, like emotionally. Yeah, but this is like I'm getting my wish. This can talk about maturity things ending so new things can begin and uh, all the power is here with the world card and the three of pentacles reverse something goes away here something completes itself and ends it really does with that three of pentacles reversed it might be a relationship it might be a business situation uh, something ends so so this person can clear their way clear the way to to be with you your person the freedom card here uh, and she's, she's letting herself out of the cage because the dragonfly is there and the doves are there and for a new beginning for herself. The Hierophant sits in the advice, uh, in the environment rather. And uh, this is also the advice down here, Sagittarius. It is, I like to read this in a couple of this uh, because that's just how I do it. And this is the advice here where a cycle ends definitely um, and a cycle begins. I feel like you're going to have your wish. The world card is like your maturity. Everything is working out for you with the world card because we have the cup. This, uh, I was going to say the spoon, you guys. I was on the phone with somebody about a spoon, right? <laughs> and we have the cup. We have the wand. We have the pentacle and the sword. We have everything that we need to manifest and, you know, feel whole in our life. That's the, that's the goal to stand in your own wholeness, isn't it? And we have the six of cups with the hierophant. And this sits in the... Uh, in the environment. Uh, and this is, so this is, somebody might want to marry you here for sure. Uh, they definitely could. Uh, and, and they're making a wish. The owl is here and he's holding his uh, dandelion. He's getting ready to blow that. Blow that. Let me blow this town, right? Yeah. And in the uh, environment too, this is somebody who really believes in you or maybe believes in the past. This could be somebody from the past. If not, they're a friend or they feel some type of way about you, some, some, something special. Maybe they feel like you are sweet. Uh, it can be. Sometimes the Six of Cups is just about, you know, somebody who might think you are sweet. It really depends. Or, or special. Or, you know, or they think that uh, there's something kind of, uh, kind of warm and fuzzy about you. Could be. It's also a recognition. I feel like that you have the keys to their heart. Here are the keys here, Sagittarius. Uh, this could be a Taurus and we have the eight of cups. Wow. So somebody might walk away from a marriage here. It's possible. Maybe it's a marriage of convenience because this is the gilded cage. This is all gold in front and she's dressed beautifully. So, um, yes, she is. And mm -hmm, can't, yeah, I was trying to see what else I could see on this card, but they have it kind of, um, I don't know, kind of blurry is not the right word, but kind of artistic maybe looking, but here, uh, mm -hmm. interesting here. Now we have the, uh, the Knight of the King of Swords shows up Gemini Aquarius or Libra possibly. 
And here we have the Empress, who can be Libra or Taurus. That's how it rolls here. This is the hopes and fears here. A decision's already been made here uh, for, there's some analyzing going on, could be, <coughs> because you're their Empress. Yep, maybe you're the Emperor, but this is uh, about somebody who, this is about sensuality, the Empress. Could be about motherhood sometimes, fertility, right, because of that. But this is sensuality, passion. I want to make my dreams come true because of the, the abundant, the abundant factor here. The five of wands sits with it. And this is, uh, mm -hmm. this person feels challenged. They already made a decision and there's something could complete itself here with the five. It's an ending. <coughs> Fives are just challenging a time of change that is very challenging. Yeah. And so, uh, this person's hoping to manifest something beautiful with you, Sagittarius. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. And here's their intention right here. And in the potential outcome sits the magician. And we have it with the Ace of Swords reversed. Wow. And this is also manifesting a new beginning. And the Ace of Swords reversed completes a cycle. That's really what that is. Very interesting here how we have the, pol the polarity and the opposites. And they're pointing to each other or uh, focusing on <coughs> like mirroring each other. Page of Swords. And your person's wondering if they complete some type of cycle or gain their freedom in some way, right? If you're going to, if they can come together with you, this person might've been wondering this for a while. Some of you don't know this person. They could be coming back from childhood for some. And you're like, what? I didn't even know you were alive anymore. Something like that. Or, oh, I heard you moved to, you know, Timbuktu to get married or so to marry somebody else, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to end this reading, you guys, and I definitely will post uh, the other day's reading. It was just yesterday, I believe. Yeah, it was yesterday. Maybe it was Friday. Yeah. And so that is uh, all the horoscopes for May, right, for everybody. And I'll, I'll post the link at the top right in the comments. I'll pin it. Thank you so much for joining me. Get your psychic reading going on. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. thanks so much, you guys.